Darkness descends upon the world as the nights draw longer, the days draw shorter, and unknown terrors lurk just beyond sight. It is time to take a look at Japan Crate October 2022 edition, which is obviously Halloween themed, as we can see from this really cool box. And I gotta say, I am very, very excited for this because. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, Halloween is probably my favourite time of the year. I do love Christmas, but I don't know, Halloween's just kind of cooler. It's like the cooler Christmas, but it's more about sweets and dressing up. Um, but anyway, today uh, it is time to delve into this most spooky of uh, snack boxes, specifically from Japan, from this one company. And that is Japan Crate. So let's take a look first at these horrifying, um, you know, setup of of uh, monsters on this box. I gotta say, I've I've had Japan Crate during Halloween quite a few years now. This is the best one so far. The box is actually Halloween themed, as opposed to just kind of, hey, you know, in, inside is Halloween themed. Like they have yokai, and it looks really cool. Now. If you're going to nitpick, there is a lot of repeating yokai, you can see. There's a lot of lantern boys. But honestly, overall, this is really cool. I am really digging this. Like, to the point I might actually just keep this box and, you know, keep stuff in it. But, yeah, this is really cool. So let's take a quick look. Japan Crate has got the gothic font as well. Very nice touch. Japan Crate, it says on the front in inverted colours. We have japancrate.com, that is the website. I will leave it in the description below as always. That's some social media if you want to uh, interact with them on social media, I guess. And below, it, what? There's a mysterious note. Who's written that? Anyway, most importantly, uh, what are yokai? So I'm not going to read all of this, but big props to them for explaining exactly what yokai are. It's not exactly a term that people in the West are going to understand very well. But you know, I, I I know enough about Japanese culture that I do recognise the kind of lantern yokai and stuff like that. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going to go slice this open and then we'll take a look into this horrifying cornucopia of terrifying delights. Is terrifying delights a um, oxymoron? I'm not sure. Anyway, BRB. All right, it is open. So now it is time for me to do the standard, which is uh, put my hand in, pick out this thing and not look inside. Ah, okay, so that's a Japan crate. Uh, I'm not going to show you what's inside, actually. But Halloween with Yokai, October 2022. Very nice. I'm, I'm really digging the uh, thematic design. And I put this off to the side. Obviously, I'll be reading it uh, between items just so I know where they are, and then I'll present them to you guys. So, time to put my hand into this uh, mysterious box and pull out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, okay, I don't think we're starting off with a horror themed one unless these are filled with spiders or something. Choco Rei. 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 Re retoi, retoi, choco retoi, chocolate toy? No, I'm okay. I'm 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 mistran. That's definitely choco. Uh, she toy, she toy. Is it? I I can never remember that she or te because uh, oh re sorry because if it's kana or hiragana or katakana. Anyway, these look like biscuity things. I guess kind of like um. Like those uh, Oreos we've had before. But yeah, very nice. Right, let's see what these are. These are petty chocolate cookies. And it does warn to be careful in case the kappa steals the cookies. Uh, because the kappa obviously is... I guess the kappa's a yokai. I've never thought of it as a yokai. I thought it was just like a mythical creature, but... It makes sense, I guess. I didn't really know it was like spooky in nature particularly. Ooh. Ooh. We have Kor Kora. Okay, Kola. Oh, and it also says Kola. There, why is that not focusing? There we go. Uh, this looks like a long piece of cola gum, is what I'm going to guess, because that's what it feels like and looks like. This is Cola Chewing Gum, and it'll stay juicy from dusk till dawn. Has anyone seen that? I've not seen till du from dusk till dawn, but it's about vampires, right? Um, am I right in saying George Clooney was in that? 
Well, maybe I'm wrong. Um, let me know in the comments below. Ooh, ooh, A, B, C. Cookie, cookie, okay, ah, so it's, ooh. <laughs> oh dear, these are slightly crushed. I mean, that's international shipping for you. Oh, wait a second, is this a Ouija, Ouija uh, themed thing? Because, like, it's got the letters above and below, and, like, it's black and white, and it looks... Yo, is this a Ouija board themed cookie? That is... That is cool. Okay, very much into that. Let's, let's look up what these are. These are ABC Cocoa Cookies. Uh, so kind of similar to the other thing. Now, it does mention that they're... They have ornate fonts on each of the cookies, I guess, like for each letter. Um, I don't know, I personally, this looks like a Ouija board. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I might keep this to the side. This might be a snack we do at the end, and I'm going to have like two of them to see what letters I can pull. And then we can commune with like spirits, and then like I can be possessed. And then this channel becomes like really... Um, like, corrupted and stuff. Oh, yo, this is the crown thing. Um, I can never remember exactly what it's called, because, like, the, this is all in kanji, but the whole point is this looks like the king's crown, and it's like a chocolate and, like, biscuit cookie kind of thing. Uh, right, yeah, that's cool. I, I, I guess he's kind of dressed up. I can't tell if he's just dressed up as the king, though. Uh, right, anyway, let's see what this is. This is the King's Forgotten Thing, and it mentions the Rokuro Kubi uh, yokai with a long neck. I, I've, I've got to admit, I'm going to disappoint everyone here, I've never heard of the Rokuro Kubi. Um, so let me know in the comments below if, if it's a cool yokai. What's your favourite yokai? Um, I guess technically you can also count ones from, you know, yokai watch. Cause... Anyway, Ramune, uh, I see that, and uh, Chu... Uh, chu... Shifu Kora. I, I don't know. Something's 80% though. Let's go, lads. I don't know what's going on, I'll be honest. Um, it's Morinaga though, so that's cool. It's Ramune. I'm guessing these are like chewy Ramune kind of um, things. Let's see. Cola flavoured, probably. This is Ramune Cola candy, and uh, it can even. It can even chase away the Chochin Obake uh, lantern monster, which is the, the one on the front, though, the uh, the lantern dude with the one eye. Very nice. They're, they're apparently very fizzy as well, so that's interesting. Uh, next up, we have... Ooh, ooh. This is either hot or sour, I think. Uh, this is su Super Obema Gamu. I, I don't know what Ob Obema... So it, it's weird, so... That's uh, that's Gamu, obviously that's Katakana, but that's or oh, Ume 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 Ba. I I don't know. It's probably very sour, is what um Ume I think is sour, right? I think I don't know. Let's check. This is the sour plum bar of gum. It's been put in the crate by a mischievous yokai. <laughs> um, yeah, that's cool. I. I, again, quite like sour things. Um, umeboshi, right, I think is the traditional Japanese, like, sour plum, salted sour plum. Um, which I think I have tried before, which is actually kind of nice. I mean, incredibly sour. Inc a very intense um, flavour. I've got to admit, a rainbow star with a happy face isn't necessarily what I'd class as a Halloween staple. But um, this is Shimichoko. Um, Shimichoko. Uh, Shimikon Choco. Um, or Shimichoko. Yeah, it's kind of like a. Am I right in saying this is kind of a bar of fluffy stuff with. Oh, wait! Wait! I see what this is now. It's a star shaped bar. So the Shimichoko things, if you remember from last month, the month before, was like a pack of little star shaped um, puffs. Well, this is like a full bar of them, so instead of pieces, it's like a full Shimichoko bar. That's really cool. Is it rainbow coloured? This is the Shimichoko Corn Stick. Uh, and yeah, as I said, it's kind of a, a long stick version of a Shimichoko, uh, which is... I, I love Shimichoko. They've... Um, I think there's one upcoming in September's Japanese snack reviews, because... Oh, man, they're just so good. They're like... 
puffy things, but they're very chocolatey. Ooh, tone of chocolatey. This, this looks interesting. So Gato, Gato Premier Chocola, I guess is what it says. I think these feel like very like rich chocolate cookies, I guess. Let's have a look. This is Gato Chocola. Uh, and yeah, these are cookies. So they're very like rich chocolate. I feel like I might have had these years ago. Um, or something very similar. Next up is... Ooh. Oh, wait a second. Porky. Porky. Uh, pizza. No, I can't really tell what that is. That's soup pizza. I think I've had these before. They're very thin potato straws, basically. Um, and they look like Pocky, I guess. But they're, like, savoury and not sweet. Probably. Unless I'm getting this wrong. Let's see what this is. This is the Porky Pretzel Stick, or Sticks, I guess, uh, and apparently the taste is German potato. Um, lots of meats and cheese, I guess. I, I don't, I don't know what a German potato is. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever been anywhere that serves German potato. And I've been to Germany, so. Uh, oh, this looks like the DIY kit for this month. Uh, Karafuru, so colourful. Gummy, so colourful gummy. Uh, he looks like a mad professor. Will this come alive? <laughs> uh, I don't know what those are. Those are probably the colours. It could be nice. Um, I'm always apprehensive with DIY kits because they are very fiddly. But let's see what this is. This is the colourful gummy experiment. Um, and yeah, it, it sounds quite similar to the Shinchan one from September's Crate, if you remember that. Uh, which I have yet to do, but it will be appearing in the next episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. Next up, ooh, this is slightly dented. Um, but we do have, ooh, um, Bama, Bata. Okay, so it's butter flavoured, sorry, not ta, it's not ma, it's ta. Uh, ooh, yeah, this is, this has seen better days, this box. Okay, the rest is in kanji, unfortunately, but uh, I'm guessing they're like butter bis butters. Oh, yo, I've had these before. Koala, uh, koala March, right? Koala no Marchi? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Right, let's see what these are exactly. Hey, there we are. It's Koala's March, and this is butter and white chocolate. Very interesting. Uh, there's been quite a few snacks. I don't know if it's like a big thing in Japan now or something, but... There's been quite a few that kind of combine, you know, the saltiness of something with a kind of savoury, yeah, with a sweet or something else. Ooh, oh, okay, this is interesting. This is zone... Oh, <laughs> sorry, that took me a second. That's a really interesting play on words. So it's, it's read zonbi, so zonbi, which is how you would write zombie in Japanese. And obviously those are... Katakana for Zon, so Zonbi, um, Odo, Mito, uh, no, what, Mito, Gamu, that's not, no, I'm, I'm reading that wrong, surely, that's not Zombie Meat, Zombie Meat Gum, that makes more sense, right, okay, oh, does it turn your, see, see, so you put on your tongue, and it turns blue, maybe, or ever, man, I'm, I'm a big fan of that, right, let's see. This is zombie chewing gum, and it does indeed turn your tongue dark blue. So, um, I might do this in Japanese snack review. I always feel a bit weird about like showing people my tongue. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know. I I, I could do it to show you guys. You've all seen color changing things before, anyway. But roru minchi minchi ji. Min Chishi? Don't. Is this like a fruit roll up kind of thing? Or a. Um... Ah, we had some. Uh, wine. No. What were they called? I can't remember. But we had some in the UK as well. They're very nice. I'm guessing they're grape flavour. Let's see. This is grape roll candy. And indeed, it is what I expected it to be. Um. But yeah, winders, that's what they were called in the UK. They're basically the same thing. There's like strawberry and grape and uh, I like the strawberry one. Ooh, next up. Yo, let's go Ariel. Okay, we had Ariel a couple months ago. They had like the cheese thing. 
probably my favourite cheese uh, crisps I have ever had. So this is sa safu creamu. Sour cream. Oh, sour cream. Okay, and onion. Okay, sour cream onion. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, I um, I mean, I love their cheese one. Right, let's see if I have read this correctly. These are aerial puffs. Um, and yeah, I I forgot what made them the coolest, or I forgot to mention rather. Every every crisp is like it's a four layered thing, so it's really crunchy and kind of small and. Honestly, Ariel is fast becoming like one of my favourite crisp or potato chip company. Um, I mean, you know, I guess I'll wait and see how I like that one. But ooh, ooh. Uh, okay. So do doki ri horu. That is interesting. I feels like these are hand tattoos, right? And maybe they'll come with gum or something, obviously, because, I mean, it, it's a kid's thing, but that just looks like the anarchy symbol, which is cool, I guess. Um, I, I Tell you what, um, no, tell you what, I'm going to keep one of these for Japanese snack reviews, uh, which is obviously my wrap-up of these snacks, and I do try them out and stuff. Keep an eye for that. I will do it with one of these on my hands. Um, that looks horrifying. Right, let's see what these are. These are horror tattoos and gum. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're tattoos to put on, I mean, not necessarily a hand. I guess you could put them anywhere. Um, you know, so that's that's something. That's You know, I've, I don't think I've ever had Japanese instant tattoos before. Ooh. Um. Okay, this. Oh, wow, oh, th this is quite heavy. This is like gum or something, right? This is fruit you, um, fruit fruit monster. Sorry, that, that took me a second. I really couldn't read that because it's all over the shop. But yeah, fruit you monster. Um, cool, so he's a fruit monster. And I guess these are like, um, yeah, these feel like the strips. Oh, what are they called? The kind of sweet things. I'll have a look, but yeah, very interesting packaging. This is Rainbow Fruit Monster, and apparently it's rainbow flavoured. What does that taste like? But apparently it's sour and also sweet. Uh, yeah, this is, it's quite a hefty package as well. It's not like a small thing, so this is gonna, it's gonna last me a while. Uh, right, hang on, I'm looking for like smaller items. I think this might be the last two things, so it is time. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, mint Kit Kat. Now, I've had Western mint Kit Kat, but I do wonder if there's like something a little bit different about this one. Um, yeah, let's give it a look. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward mint Kit Kat. It does say Japan exclusive. Um, I definitely know in the UK we had a mint Kit Kat like ages ago. It also suggests freezing a few and putting them with ice cream. Which actually doesn't sound too bad. I might give that a go. I think uh, September's crate also kind of recommended something like that. And it's time for the last item, which is the drink. Ooh. Um, okay, this says... It looks like Dekuku Koto Koto. Genuinely don't know what this could be. Um... This is very, very interesting. Wait a second. So Puka Sopporo. Um, I've heard of Sopporo, but I can't, can't remember what Sopporo is now. Very interesting. It sounds like quite a thick uh, drink, kind of like a juice kind of thing. All right, let's give it a look. This is Cabucho Potage, um, and it's soup. It's actually a pumpkin soup with like 12 different vegetables, and it can be heated and stuff. You know what? This is cool. Um, obviously, you know, I, I know some people might be like, oh, it's not a sweet drink or whatever, but I really dig trying things like this, like Japanese soups or whatever. Definitely keep an eye out on Japanese snack reviews for this because I will for sure be trying some pumpkin, uh, pumpkin soup. Well, pumpkin and vegetable soup. Right, just gonna have one quick last look. Nothing inside. 
that is the inside, very, very nice. I guess you could turn her inside out as well. Uh, ah, it says trick or treat. Uh, right, I'm gonna go put everything in this box on a nice display and then we'll do a final wrap up and then I will try my Ouija board cookies. I swear they are Ouija board themed, BRB. All right, this was a little bit difficult to kind of array because everything's kind of sideways. But uh, we have our final setup, and I've got to say, <laughs> this has been a really, really interesting box, box, actually. So, usually the theme kind of sticks with, you know, like, fruity flavours and some chocolate, or maybe fizzy things and sour things or whatever. But this has really been a mixed bag. This has been all over the place, and I love it. We've got loads of chocolate stuff, obviously, very sweet things. We've got quite a few sour things. We've got pumpkin soup, which is really cool. Tattoos, very cool. I mean, Ariel, I'm always excited to try. Admittedly, I was expecting a few more like horror themed, uh, or you know, spooky themed snacks. But admittedly, you know, it all depends. Maybe the companies weren't doing it this year, or maybe, you know, the, the company that runs uh, Japan Crate, maybe they kind of went for more yokai themed. Because obviously, I will say as well, it is kind of cool that they have the yokai theming and not just general spooky or like ghosts or whatever because I mean it does make it more authentically Japanese and stuff and you know yokai are really interesting so yeah right it is time to commune with the spirits <laughs> hopefully not all of these are crushed so I'm just gonna rip into them uh, I am now releasing the curse of the yokai into my house which is fine I mean you know I I'm not really doing anything uh, this weekend, so, you know, bit of, bit of interest or whatever. Right, let's see. Aha, that, look, can I, can I get a good angle? Hang on. All right, so this part is broken off, clearly, as you can see. Now, I want you guys to tell me in the comments, is that an R or an L or a J? I can't tell. Anyway, I'm going to have a, have a quick bite of one. Okay, I've got another one, and this is clearly a capital B. Let's give this one a try. All right, I've, I've got another B, I guess. These are really nice, actually. They're like dark cocoa um, biscuits. Um, and yeah, they're, they're kind of, they're, they're fairly thick. Got a very, if you don't like dark chocolate, I don't think this is going to be your thing, but if you like dark cocoa, especially, these are really nice. I am really enjoying these. Um, however, I've eaten many of them now, and I feel, I feel a strange presence flowing through me. Remember, um, check out Japanese snack reviews, which are coming out in like three weeks' time, and also subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Anyway, goodbye!